Morning. Did you sleep well? Good. Uh, are you guys together? Well, like a girlfriend and boyfriend. Okay. Bye then, I guess. Snoopy, no. Snoopy, come. Snoopy, no. And so, how things are at the cottage? Well, pretty relaxed and therapeutic, especially with all the different types of flowers that are appearing one after one as summer progresses. Beautiful, isn't it? But I cannot take any credit. It's all because of love and passion the late owner felt for this place. He planted all this. And although I am normally about changing things, incredibly, I feel like it was meant for me to find this cottage and take over loving and caring for it as it is. Of course, I have many awesome ideas what I can add to its existing awesomeness. But I'm not in a hurry. This summer, it's all about taking in what's been given to me, seeing what grows here, adding my own little touches and see how by surrounded with all these plants the place feels. And man, it feels bloody marvelous. Well, the outside anyway, as the inside of the cottage is in need of a total makeover. And we are working on it bit by bit. But this morning, it's all about the great outdoors. So let's take a deep breath of fresh air and enjoy summer while it lasts. So yeah, after abandoning the farm for a couple of months, the grass had taken over the whole place. Remember, I was digging out the roots in spring. All of the roots I dug out of these spiky things. And look, look, they all here again. I guess you can't win it. They're loving it here. There are my poppies and some wild flowers which I seeded in spring. And just look at my vegetable patch. Where are the vegetables, I wonder? Ooh. 
Oh my lordy, Jesus. Where is everything? Oh, I've got my potatoes. Hello, potatoes. And my beans. Wow, and my strawberries. Oh my God, I've got my strawberries here. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, I am absolutely loving this tree. Looks like olive tree or something. Uh, this is definitely not a native tree in Latvia. And so I'm thinking, well, the big one is too big to get it out, but the small one, see the baby one? I will come and dig it out and take it to the cottage. And anyways, by the way, see all these cherry trees I have. So in a cottage, as you've seen, uh, my cherries are already ready. So I assumed that these cherries would be ready, but I come and there are not many cherries. And what I realized that someone uh, has been here and uh, picked up all my cherries. See the grass, probably difficult to see, but the grass is all, you know, uh, walked on. And yeah, so uh, got all my cherries. Honestly, honestly, really what's happening? I just cannot believe it. They like realize that nobody is here uh, for the time being and they just come and, and, and get what they want. Oh wow, remember this awesome tree which was blooming? Now it's got red berries, but I don't think they are edible. But it's pretty, isn't it? And there is the sink. Anyone wants this thing, guys? Come and dig it out. First, you need to cut the grass, of course. Can't get to it. There's my famous fence. And so we came here firstly to cut the grass, but also to clean and tidy the farmhouse. This is how I left it when I found another property, my cottage, as you know. Almost. And so I really wanted to leave the farm in the best state possible, not only because this place deserves it, but also to prepare it for viewings. Yes, I was finally ready to put it up for sale. And so after a long day of hard work and best intentions, we managed to put this place back to its glory. Well, we did our best with what we had available and what we could possibly achieve, but one was sure it was already transformed from how it was when I bought it. Remember with all that crazy amount of trash scattered across the whole property with thousand pieces of broken glass lying around everywhere? I felt so proud that with a great team effort, we managed to make this place a justice. All what's left was to pray that one day it will become a perfect home for loving, caring people who will enjoy every inch of it and make new memories. This particular view really breaks my heart. It was the first thing that me and Snoopy saw every morning and the last before we went to bed. It really is a magical and peaceful place, a proper secret escape. But yes, the location wasn't working for me, as well as there was far too much to do for someone who isn't gonna be a proper farmer and won't have time to look after it properly. I just had to let it go. Thanks to my pals who trimmed as much grass as they could, then I had arranged a tractor to come in, take care of the big areas, including my fields. First I was going to leave it, as when I made it, it was meant to be for the farm. But then I thought, 
the new owners will want to make this place their own and fill it with their own creations. The van has seen everything, but it definitely hasn't seen firewood yet. Then, of course, we collected all the firewood, which had taken us many days of sweat and tears to produce. Also got the other remaining items, which all will be useful for my cottage. Then it was time to take a very last look at my beautiful farm. <laughs> and say bye-bye to this amazing tree. Yes, it wasn't easy, but knowing that the right thing will happen helped me to remain strong and focused. And I can finally close this chapter and continue with my life with peaceful mind. And yes, I dug out that tree and planted it here. It will always remind me of good times that I had in a farm. By the way, check this out. On the way back, I found this bread in one of the local shops that I have here. Crazy sourdough bread. What else? And hemp. So basically marijuana bread. Hmm? That's what they do in Latvia. Worth visiting, isn't it? might get high eating this bread. And so, after having a slice, things really started to feel weird. Uh, I was starting to see frogs. And continuing on this note.
Я пробую. Я пробую. Чтобы что-то подсластить. Это, 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 это. Три десятилетия. 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 Три After such a busy, crazy time, I needed to disconnect from all the noise and get back to my preferred state of mind, free from pollution and disturbing fast-paced energies. And what's the best way to do that? Yes, going out for a walk in a forest. 